just got my hands on a 2017 Hyundai Ion Ionic with a Q. Ionic with a Q. And so this one is basically just off the truck. There's not a lot of... Uh, they did go through the service department, but I asked them to leave some of the plastic on so we can kind of see what it looks like uh, when a vehicle is, you know, basically off the truck. So this one hasn't been washed or anything. So let's go ahead and check it out, man. It's... Uh, this is the new hybrid from Hyundai. You see it has these little door guards there. And let's go ahead and check it out here. So we have the plastic on the seats. A little headrest thing. Looks like a little bonnet. Looks like a shower cap or something. So elastic seats here. This kind of helps out with keeping it clean until it gets to the dealer. But once it gets to the dealership, um, you know, this kind of stuff has to come off because it kind of gets in the way and it gets annoying. So let's go ahead and take it off here and see what it looks like. All right. Has this big elastic rubber band. There we go. All right. So there's that. I'm going to leave this plastic here. But these papers, we are going to save those. Let's go ahead and put those. I don't know if they actually need them or not, but we're going to put them in the glove compartment anyway, just in case. But there is uh, this plastic. It's going over that. I want to take that off because we want to check out in the video. We want to check out the texture and the sheen and all that stuff. See what it looks like. All right, should I leave these on? Let's leave them on, let's leave them on. So if I peel them off, there's gonna have some adhesive there and all that stuff. So let's undo the seat belts. Make sure there's nothing there. All right. These handles are pretty cool. All right, let's look at the back here. I've seen dirty. It has a little bit of dust on it, but really it's not too bad for being in transit. All right, so let's take a look in the under the hatch here. Nice big window there. Um, okay, so when I do my video, these nets always get in the way because I need to show what's underneath them. So this does not allow me to lift this up very easy. So I'm just going to unhook it kind of get it out of the way for right now here's the floor mats we're going to go and put those in place let's look under here so it has the uh tire inflator kit and all that stuff somebody in the comments mentioned that there was they had a 12 volt battery back here but i don't i think they're getting mixed up with another car because this one has a different type of system it doesn't have the traditional 12 volt battery that you would find in a regular car from my understanding so maybe it might be easier to take the plastic off this seat and back here kind of get it started anyway like so pull that up like that Now that it was in the service department, they did take some of this already off, already took it off. And uh, I asked them to stop because I would like to, you know, kind of do it here and try to show you guys what it looks like. So uh, there was a little bit more than what you're seeing now as far as just little plastic pieces and protective pieces and stuff like that. It's not like a huge deal, but most people just don't get to see what the car looks like net generally all right got that okay so on this side they left a little plastic a little blue plastic I'm assuming it's blue so you don't forget to take it off kind of stands out those are on the little caps so the caps aren't in there until it goes to the service department and they go ahead and pop those in for what i understand 
that's the way uh, other vehicles are. So I'm assuming that's the way this one is. There we go. This one has the blue drive. So this is the hybrid. They're gonna have a plug-in hybrid. They're gonna have a electric vehicle. And uh, this was the this is the hybrid. So there's three models. This is one of them. And this is the first one to be released. This is day one here at the dealership. It hasn't even been shown to a customer yet. So I hadn't happened to snag it up before it gets sold. So I think they've got a winner on their hands here. So let me go ahead and put this trash in my car, get it out of the way, and let's put the floor mats in place and get it prepped as best we can for the actual video. Because we want to make it look good, but also want to show the fresh new vehicle in the way it's, you know, kind of sh kind of in a way that displays how fresh and new it is by showing how it is right off the truck type thing. Okay, so we have a little hook in here. So, so this one has two hook ins. So putting the floor mats in a car, it's important to do it a, a proper way because it could be a safety hazard, especially in the driver's side if it's not incorrectly. So we, we have it hooked in place, everything's lined up right, so we're good there. Do the passenger side. And since the uh, that plastic there that covers up the carpet is going to be covered up with the floor mats, I'm just leave it in place um, just to kind of be an extra protection there until the owner gets it and the owner can decide if they want to leave it in there or take it out. Now this has the EcoShift dual clutch transmission um, I think I'll leave that out so we can show that in the video. That's pretty cool. All right, so we've got some rear mats here. Hey, look at there, it comes with instructions. Cool, okay. All right, let's go ahead and put it in place. Alright, so it's the floor mat that has the hook in towards the center of the vehicle. So we can figure it out. I'm gonna put it in there and hook it. And last but not least, go ahead and put that there. Alright, so all done and it's pretty much ready. Now I'm going to use my camera jib to do the shots, the kind of the B-roll shots, and then start the video. Um, so there's a couple things I change. After I do the, the B-roll shots as far as like under the hood, the wheel, um, stuff like that, and also back here showing the cargo area, I'll fold the seats down and show that. Before I actually start filming the actual live, you know, not live, but the voiceover or whatever, or the actual video, I put this down and make sure that seat's more in a back position and kind of prep the vehicle that way. So that way when I go through my presentation, it kind of flows a little bit better. But since I'm not doing that quite yet, I'm just gonna put that up. All right, let me just kind of walk around. This is, all this trash has got to be taken out here, here. And this, actually, I can probably put this under here. What do you think? Put that under there out of the way. It'll be your it'll be our secret. <laughs> Alright. So there we go. All excited about this vehicle. I think this is gonna be a winner. Gets great gas mileage, it has a lifetime warranty. Did you see that? Industry exclusive lifetime hybrid battery warranty. So that's one of the things that people hesitate to buy a hybrid because they're concerned about the cost of changing the battery system, um, you know, if the batteries were to go bad, but you don't have to worry about it. And this car has a lifetime warranty, has a problem with the battery, they'll just go ahead and change it out or fix it or whatever the case may be. 
so that's gonna be uh that's gonna be kind of a big deal on the market so all right well thank you for watching this portion and uh i'm gonna get get filming the main video and you can check that out i'll put a link in the description